first problem prove that the sum of the squares of the sides of a rhombus is equal to the sum of the squares of its diagonals so what they are saying there is a rhombus in this rhombus if we are squaring the sides after squaring if we add this the sum of the squares of the sides of a rhombus is equal to the sum of the squares of its diagonals that means these diagonals the square of these diagonals when added will give us or we have to show that this e this r equal to the sum of the sides sum of the squares of the sides so let this be a rhombus ab cd and the point where the the diagonals are cutting each other do so in solution we can write given quadrilateral a b c d is a rhombus so it is a rhombus in this rhombus a c and b d are the diagonals let ac and bd be the diagonals these two diagonals are bisecting each other these two diagonals we know that in a rhombus diagonals are perpendicular to each other so we can write we know that diagonals diagonals in a rhombus are perpendicular that means the diagonals are forming a 90 degrees right angle 90 degrees angle is there in between this two diagonals now in triangle aob in triangle aob it is clear that ab is the hypotenuse that is the longest side and this is opposite and this one is adjacent so in triangle aob we can write ab square is equals to ab square is equals to oa square plus ob square that is we are able to write this because of pythagoras theorem So according to Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. So we can write here by Pythagoras theorem. Next, by using this Pythagoras theorem, we can similarly prove for this. We can take for this and this triangle a. triangle aod triangle cod so in triangle boc is equals to for this boc we can write bc square is equals to oc square plus ob square next in triangle cod the hypotenuse is cd so cd square is equals to oc square plus od square next in triangle aod in triangle aod the hypotenuse is ad so ad square is equals to oa square plus O D square. 
now we have got four equations let us add this all equations add all the above equations so we get if you add this ab square bc square cd square ad square we get like this ab square plus bc square plus cd square plus ad square so these are nothing but the sides of a rhombus ab bc cd da or ad is equals to that is giving us oa square plus ob square oa square plus ob square plus oc square plus ob square oc square plus ob square plus oc square plus od square oc square plus od square plus oa square plus od square oa square plus od square now we can write ab square plus bc square plus cd square plus ad square oa square oa square there are two oa square ob square ob square these are also two oc oc it is also two next od is also two so we can write two common for this all oa square plus ob square plus oc square plus od square two oa square is nothing but it is the half of ac oa is half of ac why because we have already said here the diagonals are bisecting each other that means cutting into two equal parts so if this part oa is equal to oc that means it is half of ac so we can write half of ac square plus ob is half of bd half of bd plus oc again it is the half of ac so half of ac plus od od is the half of bd next two ac square is ac square and ac square ones are ac square by 4 next ac square is ac square by 2 square is 4 plus bd square is bd square so bd square ones are bd square by 2 square is 4 plus bd square by 4 now it is clear again that uh, this is two types so we can write 2 into ac square by 4 plus how many bd square by 4 are there there are two so we can write 2 bd square by 4 so 2 ones are 2 twos are 2 ones are 2 twos are next 2 into ac square by 2 plus bd square by 2 next if we multiply this two if we multiply this two with this first term and the second term we can write like this so 2 into ac square by 2 plus 2 into bd square by 2 so 2 2 cancel 2 2 cancel so it is ac square plus bd square so what are these ac and bd are the diagonals sum of squares of the diagonals so we have shown what they have asked us to show that is sum of the squares of the sides of a rhombus is equals to sum of the squares of the diagonals so therefore hence we have proved for 
for writing what we have proved that is QED quad irat demonstratium that me that means we have shown what what has been asked us to show